Developing right now, NASA's workforce will soon be smaller. What we're learning about who could be affected. And we know NASA will be laying off 10% of its workforce, but we don't know yet how many of those jobs will be on our space coast. Good evening, I'm Greg Warman. And I'm Martha Sagowski. Channel 9's Melanie Holt is live at the Kennedy Space Center on this developing story. And Mel, NASA is under a directive right now to reduce its workforce. And that means a whole lot of things, like looking for ways to minimize involuntary separations, looking at options like early retirement. But any way you look at it, those job cuts are coming. Two, one, and liftoff. NASA is always an inspiration to everyone. And, uh, you know, kids everywhere look up to NASA and aspire to be involved with NASA. But a big change is coming. ABC has confirmed 10% layoffs agency-wide, many of them probationary employees. NASA employs about 18,000 civil servants. More than 2,000 of them work here at the Kennedy Space Center. When we reached out to NASA headquarters today, we were told NASA is complying with the guidance and direction provided by OPM, or the Office of Personnel Management. A spokesperson added, it's premature to discuss the impact to our agency at this time. Well, I'm sure that there's going to be a significant percentage of Kennedy Space Center or NASA employees involved in this round of layoffs as well. And, of course, that has deep ramifications for all of the Space Coast. Uh, as we know, uh, the, the NASA engineering-related jobs are high-paying, um, excellent uh, jobs that will then trickle down, unfortunately, to the rest of the economy. Dr. Don Platt is an associate professor of space systems at Florida Tech. He told me today this could just be the start. And there's no guarantee this will be the last round of, of these particular layoffs either. Uh, as NASA gets revamped, just like the rest of the federal government, I'm sure there's going to be a refocus. There always is with a new administration in terms of space exploration objectives. And it still may be many more weeks before we know exactly what those objectives are. Live here at the Kennedy Space Center, Melanie Holt, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. People took to the streets today to protest federal job cuts and Elon Musk's Department of Government Efficiency people gathering outside of a federal building in Chicago this morning. However, the White House says Doge's moves are to make good on President Trump's campaign promise of slashing government spending. The American people are very supportive of the fact that Doge is saving them billions of, of tax dollars and we're just getting started. Michelle King, the Social Security Administration's top official, resigned, clashing with Doge employees over access to records that includes the earnings, benefits, even medical records of millions of Americans. It is unclear what Doge found and what its employees ultimately got access to. 